Hello Capricorns, welcome. I am Tula. This is my channel, Tula's Tarot. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome. So I am blessed to be um, gifted with intuitive psychic abilities. And what I do is I basically incorporate that into my readings. And in my readings, it's not only tarot, no, because there's so many messages and spirit likes to throw these cards out, sometimes aligning with each other, sometimes give an insight in other ways through Oracle cards, which I love. So Capricorns, this reading is about your love life. We're going to find out as we, as I progress in the reading, you're going to see if this message is for you or not. And I'm going to push these aside and actually begin with the Zodiac deck to get some insight into your person. Okay, so Capricorn, let's see what message spirit spits out for you. <laughs> so as I shuffle Capricorns, I want you to relax yourself and I want you to kind of move your shoulders about to release some of that tension, release your tongue from the roof of your mouth and just Align, align. Think of your love life. Think of what you desire. Think of the person that you want to be with, the person that you are with. Okay, Mars energy coming through. So you could be dealing with someone who is a water sign, uh, could be Scorpio. They could have, um, they can have Mars in Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. There's a lot of action here, a lot of strong soldier-like action. Someone that is not afraid to push through in life, but they're a little sensitive sometimes. Um, okay. They do have a softness to them. You know, if they are a water sign and they're very fiery, that is something. Okay. So let's see now. I kind of want to, um, you know what? I did have this right here. So I want to focus it on your love life. So there's definitely passion in your connection. Definitely emotions some there are there. Although Capricorn, you may be pegged as someone that doesn't show their emotion too much, but rather you show it through action. And it could be an act of service. Um, you're not really keen for words of affirmation, but that's okay. Let's see, soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Well, isn't that a relief? Go slow. Time to get to know each other. Okay, so this is someone that you're really getting to know. And if I know anything about Capricorns, out of all the signs, you are very deliberate in how you control the growth of the connection, meaning you like to take it slow because you take love so seriously and i know and it depends on the other placements in your chart but you're not really want to have a one night stand i think this point in your life you just want someone serious i think you always have that was always your nature but now more than ever and so you could have met someone or someone is in your life i'll, I'll know more as the reading progresses that um will love you, Capricorn, as you are and will accept you and respect you. And that is so fundamentally important for you and vice versa. It's not like you're going to be with an idiot. Okay, regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Did they make a comment and offend you without meaning to? Did they not realize how sensitive you are? Did they kind of... <laughs> Joke about or make a comment about how slow this connection is going. Trying not to take offense. I don't think they've realized that you are that sensitive. If that was the key. If that was the realm of that regret. Someone could have said some, something very harshly. Not knowing that you have feelings for them. 
Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Now, I don't know if this is you, Capricorn, or your person, and the reason why I'd be going slower than even normal for you, but whatever obstacles are there, they need addressing, whether it could be on your person or you. But in this connection, there's definitely chemistry. You are definitely attracted to this person. You are attracted to who they are. Oh, and that flew all the way there. Just one moment. Okay. It really made me go there. Hmm. I feel, okay, this is what I'm picking up. That you're getting to know somebody, but there's someone in the past that's kind of lingering that feels remorse for the way they treated you, but they may be trying to come into your life. And you're so smart, Capricorn, you already know. But spirit just wants to remind you, ask yourself, does this situation align with your values, values and morals? Because I know how hard it was for you to let them go. Because when you put your all into something, you put your all into something. And you do not like time wasted. And I feel that you were with this person for a long time time but they must have done something so profound that you axed them meaning a x e d like you let them go so i'm picking up on two different people here and your guards are up with this person I don't even feel you see this person as your soulmate or even remotely close. You are taking this so freaking slow that you're not putting any label on it. You're not even, I mean, you are like poker face queen or king with this person. Just in general, really. But, um, but you are intrigued about this chemistry. They are rather intelligent. They have integrity. They have... A lot of things that are like, oh, look at, like, what? Who, leave you kind of stunned sometimes. And then have you going back to your, to, to your home and, and really you think about it so much. I just feel you just think and think and analyze so much. Just relax yourself with that. But yes, I do feel that this person from the past does feel regret. You may forgive them, but I don't feel like you're going to let them back in. Because the wounds, the kind of wounds they inflicted on you, there's no way to move forward from that. And that's me intuitively picking that up strongly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this person's going to be in the past and stay in the past. And I'm going to use some tarot cards to pull energies on this new person, okay? And that's how I'm going to navigate this reading. And if by now you feel this reading does not resonate with you, then by all means feel free to exit because there's no point in watching a reading that does not really, you know, that doesn't resonate with you, right? Unless it resonates with your friend and you're like, hey, let me see what information I can give them. Or you can direct them here. All right, so I'm asking Spirit to align with me through these cards for you, Capricorn, on this new person that has kind of like made you, that has stumped you, like left you like, oh my God, who, who are you? And has you in your head. And you may be crazy thinking about them all the time. You may be going crazy thinking about them, daydreaming about them. But I swear, it's like when you see them, it's, they, would have, they would never have a clue. No one, not even your closest friends, until some time goes by and then you start saying, hey, you want to hear something? And start talking about this person that has you enamored a bit. Okay, so, all right, spirit, for the Capricorns. I need you to reveal to me the situation with this new person for Capricorn. Tell me about this connection, how it's going to progress. Is it going to progress? If so, how is it going to progress? How's Capricorn going to feel? How's this new person going to feel? Give it to me. Let me see, spirit. Ooh, my gosh. Didn't I say the person could be a fire sign? Yes, look at this King of Wands. Oh, God. And that's excellent for you, Capricorn, because you deserve nothing but the best. But I know you like the best of the best. This might be happen happening a little too quickly for you because I know this might get you 
out of your comfort zone. And this is you. This is you. You're a little reluctant. And this person, this king of wands, they would never do anything too quickly if it made you uncomfortable. But this is the energy that I see coming in. It's going to be happening fast. But it could also be that your feelings are developing fast. But my God, when I tell you that, I, and, and please excuse my poking fun at you. I just can't resist a bit. When I tell you that you don't let anyone see how you feel. See this face? What does this face mean to you? I'll tell you what it means for a Capricorn. It means that they are so happy and giddy to see you, but you wouldn't see it on the face. <laughs> okay, let me move on. I'm being nice. You know that. All right. Some of the best people I know are Capricorns. Look at the, Okay, so you're going to be putting in work together, working towards this connection. It's going to be fruitful. Definitely will enjoy places to travel, to try new things. One of them may have um, a business, actually. A business that they're actually looking to expand. Okay, so this five of wands underneath the eight of wands is that you resisting how fast things are happening. That's all this is. I don't see arguments. I don't really see anything like that. I do see serious. This, this is a serious connection. Someone that you can definitely uh, see yourself getting married to. And I wouldn't be surprised if you do get married. But some of this person is traditional. This person uh, has strong family values. This person is self-sacrificing. This person is kind. And this person thinks about their business. This person has money. This person earns their own money. It's not even like a family business. Doesn't mean it has. it doesn't have to be. I feel you two coming together... You'll take the world by storm. You, you will be able to do, take on any and every adventure. I'm seeing here Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, yeah, as well. Okay. Well, I like to get right, right to it. I don't like to fluff anything. I like to keep it real and raw. But this is what I see, Capricorn, for you. I know your little hesitation. I know you like to take things slow. Your person's going to do that. Um, but this person's all also going to reassure you with the love and passion. But they are also very focused on their work. And sometimes down the road, that might cause a little bit of issue because someone in that connection is saying, well, why are you focusing so much on work? What about us? But... Again, minor. I'm not really picking that up. That could be down the road. So balance with that. All right, loves. I hope you enjoyed this mini love reading. Do let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting that heart. Be sure to subscribe so you're notified of future uploads. And above all, Capricorn, stay blessed.